Good morning, all my challenge crushers. I am so, so excited. I can't tell you, Angela and Nicole, your videos this morning just made my day and made me smile. It was so awesome to see that. And cause I know you both personally, and I know basically what you said on your videos are huge steps forward for you guys. And I think that's, you know, I always tell myself, like if I could give somebody one thing, you know, and, and, help them see a certain way. It's basically to give them the, um, the, the knowledge that knows small steps make big changes, okay? And you can't have that all or nothing attitude. You can't um, be perfect all of the time, you know? You have to be willing to work with your imperfections and just know that little small steps forward every single day add up to big changes overall in the long run. And Angela and Nicole, it was those exact words that you used this morning in both of your things was exactly that, overcoming the all or nothing mentality, allowing yourself a little slack, adjusting and making still small steps forward because you guys are both gonna be successful with that attitude and mentality, I promise you. But, oh, Seth, you're down two and a half pounds. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. That's great news. Good. Keep up. Keep it up. I hope you're watching all of our videos and um, still feeling inspired by everything. That is so cool. I wanted to talk uh, today about little, like, ways that you can... The problem when people um, start dieting or start worrying about their weight is they end up like a lot of times confining themselves and don't want to go out to dinner, don't want to go to celebration, sometimes like put themselves in a box because they think they can't um, juggle everything. And I know, Linda, you struggle with that as a um, basically... A Anytime you go out, you use it as an occasion to just overeat and over and indulge in everything. And that becomes like another cycle that you just don't want to have. Every time you go on vacation, oh, now this is the time to eat everything in sight because I'm on vacation. Or, um, or you won't enjoy yourself. You have this thought that if you can't just like relax and let go, you won't have a good time. And, you know... I want, like, I want you guys to be successful, but I also want you to have a life. Like, I don't want you confined to this strict regimented um, thing. So I want to help you kind of come up with strategies and tips for when you are going out or when you do have a celebration or when you do have a vacation or any kind of occasion. Um, because here's the problem, too, with, like, special occasions. You know, I know parents especially, they get invited to all their kids' birthday parties and all these people's has a party for for this and a party for that and a party for that and you know you want to partake but you don't you have to think about the occasion and what it is and is it worth you losing your goal like is is that celebration your friends kids party um, worth eating the cake that's going to potentially sabotage your goal, right? So you need to get in your head, not necessarily that you need to not do any of these occasions, but like pick and choose which ones are like the ones where you want to be able to indulge a little bit, have a couple drinks, have a dessert, right? Those should be important occasions, special occasions, things that you wanting to celebrate, right? They're not your kid's friend's birthday party, you know? So you don't need to, you don't need to go into there thinking, oh, now it's another opportunity for me to overeat because those add up over the year and it ends up again with a bunch of X's on your calendar that you didn't want there really needlessly because you really didn't need to celebrate that particular occasion. So something you can do when you, when you know you're gonna go to somebody else's celebration and say it's not important, that it's not something that you wanna feel like, oh, I just wanna really enjoy myself and I wanna allow myself to have a little extra this or that. Um, you can bring your own food easily. Like I, a lot of times I'll just bring my own food so then I don't have to worry about like what they're making. And I've never had a host yet um, be insulted that I brought my own food. I just said, look, I have a goal this month. I'm really trying to stay true to my, my caloric intake. So I just brought my own because I know what it equals. And they've always been uh, understanding of that. Um, if this is a time in which you want to have a celebration and you want to relax a little bit, Plan ahead. So, you know, if you're gonna go out to dinner with friends and you're like, oh, I wanna have a couple drinks, I wanna have a dessert, I wanna have a meal, there is nothing stopping you from like 
Googling the menu, the restaurant, and usually the menus are online, and you can kind of decide ahead of time what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna drink, and what dessert you want, so that you can kind of adjust your day moving up to it. So maybe you have a little bit of a leaner breakfast and lunch, and then you have a, a, more of an allotment for that dinner, so that you still can feel like you're having a good time and enjoying yourself and being able to indulge, right? So you can plan ahead for most of it. Um, also, when we go on vacation, there's multiple meals in a day. There's breakfast, there's lunch, there's dinner, there's snacks, there's all of that. Just because we're on vacation, do we have to overeat in every meal? Do we have to, like are all these meals an important time for us to be joyous and laugh? When I was in Florida last month, um, with Rod, you know, and I've been strict and I've been trying to cut down and stay, to my, straight, stay true to my caloric intake, even on vacation, but there was a couple of times where I just wanted to enjoy dinner with Rod and not feel like compressed by um, all of the pressure of trying to lose weight and it was important for me to just have a nice night as well because there's, you know, give and take and again, you have to feel like you are having a quality of life along with this, but it was easy for me. I had a leaner breakfast, like I don't care about, like we weren't going out to breakfast and having mimosas. We would just get up, have breakfast, and go like work out or something. So I was able to control what I ate for breakfast. I was able to control what I ate for lunch. And I was able to enjoy myself for dinner and come back not gaining any weight, including, you know, having a drink or having a dessert or having, um, they, they had the best grouper, which actually turned out to be um, really good for me because I could have like, the, the grilled grouper and vegetable for lunch, which was completely lean and totally on my plan. And one night I wanted a splurge and there was this macadamia encrusted fried grouper that I was just dying to try. And so I allowed myself to have that for dinner because I was gone leaner in breakfast and lunch. So um, alcohol, Here, another thing, one thing that helps, I know, cause some people when they go to a party, they're like immediately like need a drink because you're a little nervous, it's social anxiety, there's a lot of people around. I always walk into everywhere I go with a big bottle of water. And like, this is kind of like my security, you know, where typically before I would have immediately gone for like a beer or wine, just so I had something in my hand making me feel like, um, I don't know, more comfortable, I guess. So that's a tool that I use, but also it's okay to um, have a drink if you're gonna wanna go out on an occasion, but do you have to have 10 drinks? Do you have to have, you know, five drinks? Can you have a couple drinks? Can you plan them ahead of time so you know when you're drinking them, you're not ruining everything and that you've actually accounted for them into your diaries? There's lots of ways to do that. So, and at the end of the day, as long as you are being consistent and, con and continuing making small steps forward every day, an occasion of just relaxing and not worrying about everything is okay. It totally works. You can still gain a lot of success and momentum. It's just not letting them all pile up and always using a different occasion or a dinner out or a night out as an excuse to completely go up, crush all of your goals. So I hope that helps. I kind of rambled a little bit in there, but I hope that makes sense to you. It's just, it's, it's just one way where I don't want you guys to feel like you're like stuck at home and you have no options because you're on this regimented um, diet. It. it shouldn't be like that. You should still be able to live your life. You should still be able to have fun and socialize, but just don't let it sabotage all of your goals and don't always use it as an excuse to completely, um, because if you think of all the times you use those, they add up to a lot of bad X's on that calendar. So we just want to avoid those and limit them as much as we can. Have a great day, guys. I'm so proud of you. Bye.